okay so I came up with a little bit philosophical video uh, but I am gonna summarize to humanity everything I have learned about this world through my MK Ultra case on how one operates I've seen a lot of these kingdoms all over the world it really is not against them uh, I was actually even wrong I think in a certain context I was I was wrong uh, I understood finally understand what exactly happened to me what exactly happened how why all this how how actually not why but how why I already have explained about the power about socio-economic relations trait I was used for as a human as a human trash not as a slave I wouldn't even refer myself as a as a slave I don't think I am I ever was on that status even now I don't think I deserve that status yet basically going through these kingdoms I have seen the list of these kingdoms and have compared that to the London and have compared that to the number of females that worked in uh, sexual industry uh, maybe I can refer to that as a prostitution definitely any girl involved in this is completely completely indifferent from me from you uh, from Pope Francis uh, or any other Pope for that matter that we have heard for uh, therefore there is no reason if you are father if you are mother if you are a teacher professor or whatever it is that you are to that's why I'm doing this video maybe psychiatrist or psychology or something like that for you to feel indifferent from what society very very often is condemning maybe better different uh, something like that so in a way this is in a maybe even in a, in a in a defense to the prostitution I have met probably probably every sexual worker no that would be too crazy I think but if I say that probably 10,000 of them maybe I estimate uh, let me see estimate okay listen I'm gonna I'm gonna circle the number ignorantly I'm gonna circle the number at about maybe talking about the street workers I'm gonna end the number with probably I, I I'm gonna say 10,000 okay I'll be generous and I'm gonna give you 10,000 that was involved inside of this case about 10,000 prostitutes alone yes indeed A very beautiful gorgeous women uh, straight from the kings queens royalties kingdoms straight into porn scenes uh, what I am gonna summarize to you my dear viewer today in I hope it's gonna change your life I hope it's gonna profoundly change your life I hope it's gonna make you a better man a better woman 
through your seeing yourself literally in a street workers, literally in a prostitution, or rather than a mask you drag over the face. When I say mask you drag over the face, I'm going to put it this way. The only thing that needed to be done with you, and it didn't matter really whether you were a judge at the Supreme Court or you worked at the U.S. Congress in, in a parliament in Britain or uh, European Union or whatever, whatever the location might be, was just to throw a few coins on the table, you know, or not even that. Through discounted real estate, through discounted cars, specials, jobs that otherwise were not within the reach to your career, therefore, that's the only thing I needed to throw on a table, and you were mine. Given that I am impersonating right now Prince Charles or Prince Andrew, who repeatedly brought with them physicians to check street workers, evaluate them psychologically, and have them also go to private clinics to do the tests. Talking about the Prince William here, talking about Prince Harry, I don't know, since he got married to Meghan, how things are. Talking about probably all other royals that exist in this world without a single exception, and have ability to be protected in, in a form, as I stated. With money I threw on a table, there was no professor, there was no teacher, there was no psychiatrist, there was no psychologist, there was no wife that did not open her legs, spread them. There were, actually, excuse me, there were some that did not, but as Prince Andrew told me personally, did not get very far ahead in life. As a matter of fact, uh, to him it was quite ridiculous how people with connections not anywhere even near as qualified would get ahead of people that were qualified over the course of the time because they measured even that. It was statistically they looked uh, what these uh, things did. You know, they, they wouldn't force down the people throat something, whatever, if they, they didn't feel like, at least not that would be uh, known. Know that in the matrix I was does not mean that that was not the case. Yeah, you can use various circumstances, uh, environment, through environment, to get things accomplished. You don't have to go there directly and intimidate the person and, and so on to, to accomplish whatever you want. Now, what I want to say to you is, because this, this does concern a Vatican too. Yeah, it's where the faith is advertised, you know, religion. Uh, the hope, uh, the love for God, Vatican did not drown only in pedophilia issues. Pedophilia issues are tip of the iceberg that made somehow possible for the people to view the institution, very old institution otherwise, as to hold um, as something not completely impeccable, existing. Uh, I think the, the far bigger problem that Vatican, the Christianity therefore, uh, is in what I stated, you know, it was priests that were involved in this stuff, which the same thing. All I had to do is do like this with dollars, basically, and it, it was really nothing I, I couldn't get past. It was just basically to defend me in every step of the way and to take fate away from you, basically to make you waste 
your sanity on things that don't exist, basically. I have spiritually eventually even deprived you of your right to sanity. Because you always came to me to pray. For something you knew very good it did not exist and it doesn't exist behind those walls you knew that it was for a lot of people a camouflage a way to get past to be seen less in a world in an imaginary world they created with laws with uh, you know through the media that you see that you interact with the with the news, you see the guy praying and this and that, seriously, this and that. This this is all acting. It's all acting, it really is. The communism condemns prostitution, but Xi Jinping built his net. And so did Vladimir Putin, the ex-communist. In a whole, they were just penetrating through Western society, literally by associating themselves to uh, to street workers. Oftentimes, mainly through whatever U.S. government, British government, Germans have associated me with. To psychologically connect to them, to to study the views, to to experiment, to use them in a way they wanted. Um, whichever way that was, you would be surprised how the ladies, the street workers, what connections they have. Straight right in the top, you would be surprised. Eventually. And you probably will be surprised if I tell you that the kingdoms literally are built on a prostitution. Completely, completely on a prostitution. Like, how can I say? As much as Vatican condemns one, as much as communism condemns one, you know, in this world, the leaders the CEOs, the people with the money, in whichever system that might be. People with better standard of life, let's say, for me to be like more understandable, because it really doesn't approach, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't apply to a specific political system, you know. They're all looking for that uh, need that is in people. You cannot remove the sexuality from the people. When you try to do this, then you have a pedophilia. They try that in a Christian, in Roman Catholic, in, in, in uh, Protestant. They, they try to do this stuff in Vatican, through the Vatican. And it resulted with a pedophilia. It resulted with females being raped behind walls inside of the churches, inside of the Vatican. This shit went on for centuries. It's not that it became human DNA. You just can't remove the sexual necessity need from a human being, you know. And those... At the top, royals and queens, kings, they get these things done. Do you, do you understand me, what I'm saying? You, you can't, you can't, whatever you cannot, they get it done. But they get it done for you, because you need this. Yeah, and foremost, as I stated a little earlier, you are completely, completely different. You are only different because you're doing different branch of work. You just do 
you you work in other industry is something else you do but how many of you who witness this stuff today i read some stuff about from individual who was involved in this stuff andrew tetty okay very much involved on behalf of the british throne very very much involved and i read on that page it was uh, please haters leave the group <laughs> it was like a big fight uh why are you here if you don't like andrew tete and it was about hate hate why you haters hate and so on and so forth and then it, it, it all reduced itself to talk about human trafficking why do you guys like human trafficking somebody asked and so on and i saw this conversation you know there was also written he just wanted andrew just wanted to make um andrew is a good man uh other paragraph stated he just wanted to make men better and trying to get the sand you know understanding and meaning of this in my head very very much involved and Chester was very very much involved with his brothers you know with his brothers which one really gave him a lot of hassle a lot of problems and he had to disregard one maybe even two brothers he disregarded i think he's got three brothers and one eventually stayed with him that's what it is i think andrew tata was very very attached to his brothers to me for, to me on very not understandable reason because i was the one whom andrew tete have connected himself as a brother way back in 2004 uh i i liked him i don't know based on his physique uh, and he liked me somehow and uh, he was a mk ultra staff member and he started to really we we make like a we made the two of us made like a like a secret oath to one another and this oath went on for andrew's sake like really really good because he got the best trainers uh he advances his career rapidly started to earn money with this with this sport and <clears throat> throughout this however i like for two years before he introduced them into this mk ultra <clears throat> he always was dreaming about his brothers whom i did not really like i didn't like that really uh, i've seen too many same 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 stories too many same things i've seen too many andrews before andrew i've seen this shit over again it was not about the brothers it was about friends that eventually got people involved in whom i have seen brothers even jailed if not abusive toward me always was the case and it was no different here in this case it was no different eventually he got his brothers on a picture and turned out to be extremely violent together also with his brothers and i frankly i didn't want to be on the picture anymore when they appeared simply the two of us really went apart with my eventually even starting to mistaken andrew with his own brother because andrew when he was younger just like myself right now i gained some weight you know 
his face was much uh, skinnier, was much more apparent. Uh, he was such a good-looking guy, you know, to me, like British kid, uh, American, you know, something like this. That, that I really associate myself with his look. Uh, saw myself in him and um, he gained weight over the course of the time and uh, his brother however <laughs> is taking care of himself very well and you sacrificed his hair at my anger and disappointment and so on he, he, he went like complete complete metamorphosis from what it was into something completely different but he earned the money and he didn't give a shit about anymore what his looks were and uh, you know stayed open mind-wise through the British lawyers I anticipate royals have embedded in his case uh, to make look my case as if I go a little bit back if I rewind the tape as I, I quote myself and you just try it to make men better, you know, and me make men better had a, as a result. It wasn't one, two weeks, even sleep deprivation. It was even for a month that I went without the sleep. It was some other record breaking issues involving this stuff. It was a stuff that made everybody involved in crime wonder how come my cardiovascular health is so superior, so resistible to what no, no human being possibly could match in any way. That's what it went to. That means into making men better is basically to sleep, walking asleep, being beaten up, abused, tortured, death threatened. How do you guys feel about what I stated to you today? Because did you ever heard about this case? Have you ever seen me? Do you know anything about this case? Even the mainstream media, so-called journalists, not only have neglected, ignored, or misrepresented the torture, which would take place afterwards they would sit me in front of the computers and demonstrate me how the mainstream media how to view the future mainstream media news their networks are going to release s how to translate how to visualize the torture which they have connected with mainstream media it could be thousand people you could interpret the news to every one of them in a different way through incidents you got them involved into when dropped up that's a journalism except that these journalists oftentimes have physically engaged in a torture the torture was very much the same like the torture the people undergone in afghanistan i anticipate inside of the guantanamo i think it was exactly about it, it looked different, it might have looked different, but it was based on murdering an individual. And now we're going to the next issue. As a matter of fact, responding to make men better. What is exactly this phrase, make men better? He just, he only made, he only wanted to make men better. Not man, not man, but men. It was quite surprising for me when I read that inside of that Facebook group. Man, not, not, not man, but man, like many. M-A-N, that's a one, singular, and then you have men. That's more than a single person. Proud, more, indefinite number. More than two, I should say. 
And so when I when going over that, seeing that stuff, I was thinking about that this subject is becoming philosophical. Talking about a murder subject. Talking about kill for hire subject. That had no fucking boundaries. As a matter of fact, which a law enforcement frequently enforced. Whatever torture took place, it was always a law enforcement officer, a police officer that enforced that was involved, even have enforced crime, if not engaged directly into it. I'm just trying to remove the fog uh, from it's pr probably what Andrew is referring to as a matrix. It's not a matrix. This is not a matrix. This is just understanding basically on how humanity functions since from forever. This is just the way it was. And this is just to explain to you that we are very, very much indifferent from one another. You can say, I am this, I am that, I am, I don't know what I am and this and that, but there's no, there is really no philosophy when it comes to proof. Talking now, I'm talking about the United Nations here, the agencies that are controlled through the state, the top state officials, through which British royals and other royals, I think, control the so-called human rights. That's basically, fuck the human rights, all that stuff, but assistance to a human being in need. There is no place if you find yourself uh, in a situation as was mine, you can hide yourself from a crime. Did you know that? I applied for political protection asylum in more than a dozen countries. I moved from Miami to Europe, to Slovenia. Went back to another state, such as Illinois, Chicago. From there, I tried myself in Minnesota. From there, I went to the other side of the United States, on the western coast, Washington State, New Canada. Eventually immigrated to Canada. Tried myself in a Vancouver area. These political asylums where I applied, like in Canada, in where Canada led me uh, from Canada uh, in Austria in Germany in Belgium in Sweden in Norway Finally, in 2017, in Hungary, as I couldn't get through Poland, in Ukraine, and then from Ukraine, inside of the Belarus, eventually. In 2018, in, eventually in Slovakia. And then finally in Poland, and then finally in Czech Republic. So how many countries have I stated right now? Everywhere to tell you whether that was the past Eastern European bloc, because in Russia they wouldn't allow me 
They threw me out of the plane in 2017 at Barshow because Russia had some kind of special entry requirement and not allowed, basically, to go there to fire for political asylum. As a European Union member, and so they work so much together with one another that it's um, please that's why I consider this case of Assange and cases of other other activists that United Nations have instead pushed to cover this case. Many activists even they fabricated because they didn't know anymore what the fuck to do. Uh, like fake, even that are uh, not fake, even that some of them contributed to humanity. Um, to awareness which, however, is not going to make any fucking difference because of the stuff I have spoken to you about in this video. So, that's all I wanted to say to you. You cannot destroy royals. You will never destroy them. Because they represent need which exists in every one of us. The need that, in fact, is just a a matter of financial resources which allow then your needs to be more evident to surface basically and even this even if you would I don't know what even you see the stuff that I stated to you intersects with the people that go inside of the church with the issue that I stated didn't hurt, haven't seen, don't know anything about it. And then much worse, which is actually a collateral crime. Through which British royals wanted to present a murder as basically with a phrase Andrew just wanted to make men better really that's all I wanted to say for this video thanks for watching